What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm the Maths Guy and we are today going to be looking at short division. Let's go. Okay, so with short division we have these three steps. We're going to first set up our bus stop, then we're going to remember to put our dividend inside and our divisor outside. So let's see what that means with this first example. 432 divided by 4. So I'm going to set up my bus stop and then I want to understand that the dividend is the large number that's being shared. So I'll put my 432 inside my bus stop and the divisor is the amount we're sharing it between, which is this four. Now I'm ready to begin. And unlike addition, multiplication and subtraction, I'm actually gonna start with the largest value this time. So I'm gonna get my divisor and I'm gonna see how many fours there are in four, using the four from the hundreds column to start with. And there are one four in four. If I have four circles, I can collect one group of four. Then my next question says, how many fours are there in three? Well, if I have three circles, I can't get a group of four, so I'll end up with zero groups of four, but I can't just ignore these three because I have three left over, one, two, three. So I would have to move that three to the next column. And now when I look at how many fours are there in two, it actually says how many fours are there in 32. And there are eight fours in 32. So the answer to 432 divided by four is 108. Let's go. Let's look at question two. This is a little bit harder. I have 726 as our dividend and my divisor is five. I'm going to do everything like before. How many fives are there in seven? Well, there's one. And how many do I have left over? Well, I would have two left over. Now, my next question is how many fives are there in 22? Well, there's four groups of five in 22, and then two left over again. Then I've said, how many fives are there in 26? Well, there would be five groups of five in 26 with one left over. But what do I do with my one left over? I've got nowhere to add it onto down here because there's no more numbers. So all I have to do is put a remainder one here on my answer line. So my answer to 726 divided by five is 145 with one remainder. Awesome, that's as easy as short division can be. Let's look at what to remember. Start by creating your bus stop and put the dividend inside and put the divisor outside. Start with the largest value and then just simply work along your bus stop. If you have any remainders at the end, all you have to do is put remainder and then whatever you've got left over. Here are two questions for you to work on. Press pause on the video now, find some paper and have a go at answering these two questions. Put your answers in the comment section. And there you go, that is short division. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel or head on over to themathshelter.com to get loads more videos, all in sequence, all easy to understand, which are gonna make you a maths genius. But for now guys, peace out.